Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Decoded. My name is Anshad Rudeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present the second problem of the weekly contest 294, maximum bags with full capacity of rocks. Here in this question we are given various bags and with each bag we are told that this is the maximum capacity of the bag, this is the current number of items in that bag. Along with this we are also given the additional rocks that can be placed in those bags. What we need to do, we need to place these rocks in those bags such that maximum number of bags gets occupied to their full capacity. So they are, here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 2279 maximum bags with full capacity of rocks. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, I feel it's an easy question. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's get back to the same example that was specified. I have added one more entry in the example so that you get a good hold of the concept. Here the capacity of bags are specified as 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 and the current occupancy of each bag is 1, 2, double, 4, 6. So the first bag has a maximum capacity of two and the current occupancy is one. What do we do? We iterate through all these bags one by one and we identify the vacancy for each bag. For example, what is the vacancy of this particular bag? It's one. So I've written one here. What is the vacancy of this particular bag? It's again one. I have written one here. What is the vacancy of this particular bag? It's zero. I have written zero here. What is the vacancy of this particular bag? It's one I have written one here and what is the vacancy of this particular bag it is 10 minus 6 which is 4 so the last element in the vacancy array turns out to be 4 now once you have created this vacancy array what do you do you sort this array up so let's go ahead and sort this up so the array gets sorted to something like this 0 1 1 1 followed by 4 now it's time to fill in these bags with the additional rocks that are specified in the question so how many rocks are specified to you? You are given only two rocks. So one by one, let's iterate over this vacancy array. So right now the count is zero. The first in the first bag, there is no vacancy. Therefore, the this is since it's already full. So let's create the full bag count F B G and initialize it to zero. And since for the first time, uh, this bag is already full. So let's update it to one. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is one. And do we have additional rocks available? Yes, we have additional rocks available. So what do you do? You assign one rock to this bag. So one, one rock gets assigned to this bag and this value gets updated to zero. Uh, the rock count gets reduced by one. So this gets updated to one and the full bag count gets updated to two because now we have two bags that have reached maximum capacity, these two. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is again one. So can we assign one more rock to this bag? Yes, we can do. We still have some rocks available. So it, it gets assigned. So this gets updated to zero. Uh, this also gets updated to zero. Since we have assigned this rock to this particular bag, the vacancy gets reduced to zero over here and the total full bag count gets updated to three. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is again one. Do we have rocks available? We don't have rocks available. As a result of which we have to break out of this loop because you cannot allocate more rocks in any of the vacant bags. With this, uh, we have finally iterated over the entire array and the current full bag count is three and this becomes the answer in sync with our expectation. I'll be doing the exactly same thing in the coding section. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through it and I'll be telling you the space and the time complexity there and then itself. As told in the presentation, my first step is to create the vacancy array and the size of the vacancy array would be equal to the number of bags that I have. I iterate over the capacity and the uh, rocks array that is given to me and I appropriately calculate the vacancy for each bag that is given to me. So it would be equal to capacity minus current rocks that are there in the bag. And once I have done this, what do I do? I sort this vacancy array in increasing order. So sort you pass in this vacancy array. I have created a count variable and I iterated over the vacancy array. If I see the current vacancy is zero, I update my count to plus one otherwise i go ahead and check if my additional rock count is greater than vacancy this condition is really important greater than equal to vacancy that means 
I have these many docs, additional docs available to fill in the current vacancy of that particular bank. If this condition is true, then then I allocate these many rocks to that particular bank. I reduce my additional rock count appropriately and I increment my count variable because this bag has turned empty. Otherwise, if, if this condition is not meant, I break out of the loop and simply return the count variable. I have created an extra vacancy array, but it is not needed. You can manipulate the capacity array for creating, for identifying the vacancy and this is not needed. It can be solved in order of one as well. I hope most of you will be able to do it by yourself and treat it as your homework after going through the solution. So let's submit this up. Accepted. Great. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'm solving more questions of the weekly contest.